Well, I guess this month is terrain month. <laughs> Normally, like if you were watching a professional YouTube channel, you'd get this kind of declaration or announcement ahead of or prior to the month in question. Like you would have seen an announcement last month that would have announced the upcoming terrain month. <laughs> How dumb can I get at the beginning of an episode? Let's see. But you, dear viewer, are watching Tabletop Alchemy, where we are reactionary at best. So, you get the announcement in the middle of a special month-long event instead. What can I say? I'm a trendsetter. Welcome to Terrain Month. <laughs> Greetings, good humans, and welcome to Tabletop Alchemy, where sometimes we realize a running theme only after it sneaks up on us like a sea anemone sneaks up on a... <sighs> Clownfish? See an enemy. Why? Why did you write that down? That's so. I mean, to see an enemy sneak. Can they even move? I don't know. Regardless, we thank our patrons for their unsuspecting support of such epic, special month-long events that are announced after the fact. Yes, thank you <laughs> for your continued support. <laughs> it is always. Much appreciated. Okay. <laughs> Much deserved is probably another question. Let's recover here. Uh, so this is pretty cool, actually. Today is the first time I get to say something that is every YouTuber's dream that I'm aware of. I receive some products from a company for free. But on top of that, this is not a sponsored video, and I am under no obligation to said company for anything. Just the way I like it. I know, because I asked to make sure before I said, sure, send me some stuff. This is what happened. A couple of months ago, I got an email from Alina with All Game Terrain, and she wanted to know if I'd be interested in a free box of tabletop gaming scenery products. Now, I get a few emails now and then from companies wanting me to pimp their products. Most of the time, the products are completely unrelated to our hobby or just flat-out scams, and... Anyway, on top of all that, I'm pretty iffy on putting any kind of sponsorship into my videos. Yeah, what can I say? I'm just a particular kind of snob. But this email from All Game Terrain piqued my interest a little bit, especially the part about them being impressed with my builds. Flattery will get you pretty far with me, even if I know it's suspect at best. They just wanted my shipping address and provided a phone number for questions. And I figured, well, there's no way this is a scam, right? This is my first chance to get some free stuff. So I called them, and I gave them my social security number, and my banking info, and my mother's maiden name. <sighs> but while I hadn't heard of All Game Terrain, I noticed in the signature of the email that Woodland Scenics was mentioned. And most of us have heard of Woodland Scenics, right? So I went to Google Sleuthing, and it seemed like All Game Terrain is a new brand that Woodland Scenics has rolled out for the tabletop gaming niche. And it seemed legit, so I was thinking, yeah, man, this could be cool. But again, because I'm pretty iffy on working for other people, I knew I wasn't going to be up for signing any contracts or agreements for sponsorship that put any limitations on me or the channel. So I sent back an email with one question. And look, they responded and called me a reputable gamer. And they told me they think I have a quality channel. Yeah, the flattery keeps working, even more the second time. So I figured if they were actually cool with just sending me some stuff to play with and there was no obligation on my end, that they should absolutely have my mailing address. And the day before I went to the kit show, a box showed up on my doorstep. And that box, along with another mystery box I received on the kit show day, which I haven't mentioned yet, made me realize that we, you and I, are in the middle of Terrain Month. Who's in the box? All right, so inside the shipping box is another box, which actually, this looks pretty cool. It has like a full printing on it. Yeah, check this out. This, this is pretty sweet. I approve. Giant logo looks good, and it says right there, by Woodland. So maybe Woodland Scenics isn't the actual company name, just Woodland. Drop the Scenics. It's cleaner. I do really like the graphic design 
on this box, from the colors and the abstract sort of rust or corrosion patches, to the faded grayscale cemetery scene, to the dragon scene. This is all miniature photography overlaid with the texture from the main box art. This is really nice, and it's a good sized box too. Oh man, how's that for flattery and physical form? A matching texture and colored envelope made out to tabletop alchemy? This is pretty cool. I'm such a sucker. And this is a very nice letter. Again, the flattery is solid. Even though I know it's a form letter, it's still, it's still working. Saying things like, they've been watching my channel and are fans of my videos. I, come on, it just tugs at the validation heartstrings a little bit. We're all susceptible, man. Enjoy the scenery. <laughs> I certainly will. I mean, I'm kind of surprised it's taken Woodland this long to pivot into the tabletop gaming niche as opposed to the model railroad market they've been in for so long. I mean, they're a big company, so they've probably been working on executing this brand for quite a while. I get it. All right, this letter is all I needed, but you know, I guess we should see what else is in the box, right? What's in the box? Okay, we got a couple of stickers and a big old marketing pamphlet. It's actually a pretty nice promo piece, glossy paper, full color, great images and layout. Let's see what they're offering. Base paint, huh, okay. And rocky texture stuff, this is cool. Probably they have a lot more colors and types than what the page is showing, but this gets across the variety of what we can expect from them. Even got some boulders, interesting. We've got ground cover with base layer stuff and grass and weeds and of course foliage clumps, one of my favorites. All pretty typical Woodland Scenics offerings, but they mentioned that they might be putting out different color mixtures from their railroad stuff, so this could be cool. We've got an accents category with flowers and shakers, brambles, and something called super foliage that apparently makes great vines. That sounds pretty cool. The brambles are that that seafoam stuff they sell as tree foliage, and it's it's a pretty good looking material. We use some of the Woodland Scenics branded uh, seafoam on the trees in this video. They've got Deadfall, which is just a package of sticks. Maybe they've been baked to kill all the mitochondria or bacteria. I don't know what I'm saying, but I never understood terrain companies selling a pack of sticks. I guess some folks will buy anything for ease of use. I don't know. Sometimes I do that. Uh, the easy bushes look like the standard lichen stuff. Uh, tall grass is definitely another typical Woodland Scenics product. I've got some of this. It's great material to make tall grass with. Yeah. Okay, all right. They're going to sell tufts, which they should. Everyone else does. And they know we all like buying tufts and using them everywhere. I've got Woodland Scenics branded tufts. Uh, I saw them come out a couple years ago. And they're kind of specific types and larger than most gaming tufts. These look like they'll be right in there with the army painters tufts. So we just got to see what kind of prices they're charging, right? I like these tall tufts, these cattails or, or whatever. These are cool and I haven't seen them before. And of course we have static grass and I've got a ton of this stuff in the pile of opportunity terrain edition for sure. And gamer glue. All right. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna, yeah, I think this magic tack or the game tack, one of those is probably gonna be that hobby tack that I like so much, that vinyl glue that sticks to everything. I will definitely pick up some of that for sure if it's the same sort of formula, especially in this more normal type of bottle with the cone tip. And we got water effects, definitely rebranded Woodland Scenics water materials. At least, that's my guess. I have some of this stuff and it's fine for some specific uses and smaller projects, but I'll be honest, UV resin is the new king on the block for my money, as far as little bits of water effects. And a couple of pics of what the stand should look like in stores. All right, let's get to the actual stuff, right? The loot. First up, gravel, natural gravel. Okay, right away, this isn't something I've seen before and I really like it at first glance. It's a simple idea, something I do on my own by mixing stuff I have, but this sandy colored micro gravel, earthy stuff mixed with just a touch of green flock, this is very nice. I like this quite a bit. The color is kind of what I like. It's very pleasing to my eye. All right, now we got some base layer soil, which is just dark greenish, black brown fine flock definitely similar to woodland scenic stuff i have already i definitely use this kind of stuff quite a bit so let's jump over to the website and see if we can find some prices okay yeah cool so they've got a full web store up and running looks like uh this stuff retails for 3.99 four bucks us seems fairly competitive one of the things i like about the woodland scenics brand is they sell larger containers if you want to like buy some flock in bulk which 
It's just something to keep in mind. And the natural gravel is the same price. Okay, so that gives us a ballpark idea of what to expect. Summer grass, this is exactly the flock I use for moss on a lot of my miniature bases. Pretty straightforward, it's the super fine cut which I've always liked for mini bases or like cracks and rocks or bricks or whatever. We've got some natural sand, it's the really fine stuff I think. It kinda looks like beach sand. It's got some slightly different colors mixed up in there. Essentially what you can get from the beach sand with some other dirt added. To be honest, I don't buy sand. I either get it from the beach, which is kind of illegal in a lot of beaches, but I also get it from Michael's in their bulk decorative aisle or like from Home Depot kind of stores. Just, you know, it's a lot cheaper when buying a, buying it in volume. All right, next we got some easy bushes, specifically the winter mix, apparently. Now, this is standard lichen, but these aren't standard lichen colors. I actually like these colors quite a bit. Lichen is pretty versatile, but I always feel like you need to flock it or it just looks like what it is. But these colors, these colors are really nice. Here's some spring green weeds. This is just one step coarser than the fine flock. Again, pretty standard stuff. Also very usable in our line of work, so to speak. And what are these? Bases, I imagine? They seem very similar to my favorite Sintra stuff, but they aren't quite as soft as Sintra. They feel more brittle harder? I'm not sure how to describe the difference. It almost feels like the internal structure of the material is more crystalline than Sintra, which is kind of chewy, if that makes sense, which it probably doesn't. Uh, let's cut into one of these. I'm just curious how it, how it cuts. Okay, it cuts just like Sintra, but it's somehow still just a little bit different. I just went and checked the website and I don't see these on there other than in the photography images, so I don't know what they're made out of or what they might cost. They're very light and rigid, and I bet glue sticks really well to them, so I bet they put them on their site at some point. All right, we got a spray bottle. Always can use another spray bottle, so that's great. Six bucks on the website, a little bit pricey, but I don't know. You know, you can get these at the dollar store or whatever, but it's nice to have another spray bottle. We got some game tack. I'm pretty sure this is similar to the stuff like Aileen's tacky glue or other similar glues, just like a faster drying, maybe a little stronger version of standard PVA glue. It makes sense for all game terrain to sell their own branded bottles of it. You know, whatever. Ah, Super Seal. Oh, it's really watery. I'm sure this goes straight into the spray bottle as is, which is super handy to have for sure, but not something I would ever buy myself. Mixing up cheap PVA glue and water is just way cheaper. There's probably something extra in solutions like this because it never seems to separate like in the bottle like simple PVA and water mixtures do but I don't know if that's worth whatever the extra cost is. Still I'll definitely put this to use on some scatter drain and trees. Aha magic tack. Now this I bet is their branded version of that hobby tack stuff I really liked using for the trees we made back in that video I already snapped. This stuff is probably great. Now I don't know for sure that's what this is until I try it out but from the packaging info, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Having this stuff in a bottle instead of a jar with a brush lid thing, this is way cooler and something I will continue to purchase for sure. I'm saying for sure a lot, and I pronounce it differently every time. For sure. For sure. This is a YouTuber problem. There's no good cutaway from that. Anyway, here's some earth base paint. Huh. I wonder how this compares to craft paint. It looks nice and smooth. Not quite as gelatinous as the Apple Barrel or Americana stuff. Americana? Give me some of that Americana stuff. Americana? Is that better? Does one pronunciation trump the other? I don't actually know what I'm saying right now. It looks nice and smooth. Not quite as gelatinous as the Apple Barrel or Americana stuff. Or whatever. I'm just reading the teleprompter. I'm just doing my job. Stop yelling at me. My guess, and it's just a guess, is that this stuff is one notch above craft paint, but probably several notches below model paint, which is totally fine. We don't need model paint for terrain. That would just be a waste of money. I don't see any paints on the website, so we can't price them out yet, but I'm sure they'll be on there soon. Okay, got some boulders here, flat boulders. I guess they'll look like they're, you know, the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. The paintwork on them is pretty nice, actually. Now, a lot of companies sell stuff like this, but I never buy anything pre-painted. It's just not my thing. Oh yeah, you can see, you know, right here, the paint, you know, the paint washes that, you know, stuck to the bottom of the packaging in a couple spots. No big deal. So these are definitely plaster casts. They're actually pretty nice. You get four different sizes. Again, not something I would personally buy. I just use rocks or carve up foam or whatever. 
Let's crack one just to see. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's typical plaster, nothing surprising. Easy to glue back together or just hide the crack with foliage, flocking or whatever. So here's all the stuff I got. Overall, pretty cool. I do like the way they are rolling out their product line and their brand. Their rep was very nice in the email. Their website is really nice and simple, very clean design. I like their logo, you know, important stuff like that. The products I'm sure are all on par with or the same as the Woodland Scenics products, which a lot of us have used for a long time. But now you'll probably end up seeing this new brand in your local tabletop gaming store, which I think is great. There's a ton of companies competing in this niche space and Woodland I was going to say Woodland Scenics, Woodland makes some great stuff and All Game Terrain is their new tabletop brand. Cool. A few things I'm going to order from their site, like right now, in fact, are some packs of this super foliage. This stuff looks awesome. Check it out, right? Supposedly, it's the stuff climbing the walls here like ivy. I like the look of this stuff quite a bit, so I'm going to get some and try it out. I'm definitely ordering some of the cattails and the dark green shrubs too, just to check them out. So yeah, you're going to see a lot of these products in action throughout other videos, of course, on the channel. We'll put stuff to use and it's going to be very useful in basing miniatures and making scatter terrain for sure. So a big thanks to All Game Terrain for sending this stuff out. It's much appreciated. And, you know, they said they watched the videos, so I'm sure they're going to see this. Anyway, go make something. Put that pile of opportunity terrain edition to use. See ya.